What is up, Morales Mages? I'm Jay, your Morales instructor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your first stream to track the transfer of assets for any wallet on any EVM chain. So I have MetaMask open here. We have account one, which has 47 Matic tokens on the Polygon testnet. Let's go ahead and select these, send some of these between my own accounts. Let's send from account 0x4D2 to account 2 0x5DAD. Let's choose to send, for example, 36 Matic. Let's press next. We go ahead and confirm this transfer. And as it's sending, my own backend server over here is listening to any Morales streams that are being sent from Morales side. And like you see, it already received one. And with all these details, if we open this up, it's faster processing than MetaMask. We see that we have this one transaction in this block number 3049314 come through. And we have a transaction hash. If you want to check it out in more detail on the Explorer, we have the value of 36 Matic where that was sent, the two address 0x5DAD, the from address, my account one 0x4D2. And all this is super simple for you to do. If you follow this tutorial, stay stuck in and I'll show you how to do it. All right, let's dive straight into creating your first stream here in the Morales admin dashboards in the streams tab where you have this nice interface on the admin UI where you can create a new stream. We'll check it out first in the admin UI in demo mode, and then we'll jump into using the Node.js SDK to create one ready for production. And just to make sure we have MetaMask installed over here, and I have a test account on the Polygon testnet that has a bit of testmatic chain link tokens and USDC tokens so we can track the different transfers of these tokens. But without further ado, let's go ahead and create a new stream. Let's create it from the admin UI to test it out. And here you can type in a smart contract address or a wallet address. So we'll type in our wallet address over here. And as you may deduct, you could use a smart contract address as well. We paste that in and this will automatically take you to the stream configuration page. And here you have the streams coming in. We haven't defined what we want to listen to. So no streams are coming in. But as we go through this, your streams, when they happen live on the blockchain will be updated here in this demo admin UI. So as we scroll down, the webhook URL is only for production version. So we'll do that later. The description of the stream, we can call a demo stream and tag is demo. Just make sure you give identifiable names. So if you have multiple streams, you don't get lost with all your streams. Then let's go ahead and select the networks we want to follow. We'll do the Polygon Mumbai testnet as that's where our assets were. But as you can see, you could do multiple. Morales provides support for all these EVM chains. So let's unselect Ethereum there, then go ahead and here in stream options, the fourth step, we can choose to listen to contract interactions, native transactions and internal transactions. In our case, contract interactions will be enough as we won't want to listen to native transactions here in the demo version, we'll just listen to any ERC 20 tokens being transferred, or this would also give you any interactions my wallet does for any smart contract on the Polygon testnet. And then finally, five is the advanced options. We have a different tutorial for this that's a bit outside the scope of this video, but here you could apply any filters to blockchain events you don't want to listen to. Say, for example, if you wanted a certain amount of tokens to be transferred for you to be notified, for example, $1,000 worth, you could apply that filter here, or the receiving address had to be certain address, all these could be applied here in the advanced options. But now as this is ready, we can go ahead and scroll to the top. And we can go ahead and check out our MetaMask account over here, go ahead and choose, for example, our chain link tokens, let's send these to one of my own accounts account two over here, I think we had 0.2 chain link, press next. And this should as it is a contract interaction, we're doing the transfer function on the chain link token here on the Polygon testnet. As we confirm this and it goes through on the blockchain, Morales automatically notices this and we should get a live webhook in the form of a Morales stream over here in our admin dashboard. So let's go ahead and check this out as this is still pending. It's not come through yet. And now it's come through even faster processing time than MetaMask itself. We have a Smiralis stream come through. And if we check out the ERC 20 transfers, it has automatically parsed data of all the ERC 20 transfers that happened in this block. We have the transaction hash if we want to check it out in the Explorer, we have our chain link tokens, it gives us how many decimals the chain link token has, and the value with decimals, which was a 0.2 and the value without the decimals. We also see that it was our account one 0x4d2, which sent the chain link tokens and we received it in our account two, which is account 0x5dad. So this is the format in which you'll get your response from Morales when these live blockchain events happen for your streams. But this is just a nice use case over here in the admin UI to check out how your stream would work. Now let's jump in to our code editor and create a production ready Morales stream using the Node.js SDK.
Rightio, before we go ahead and create our stream using the Morales Node.js SDK, we have to create a server which receives the webhooks that Morales sends about the live blockchain events we want to listen to. So I, I've created a simple Node.js Express app over here that has one endpoint called webhook to which Morales can post the streams and we parse the body that Morales sends, which is what you saw in the admin UI as well, and just console log it over in the terminal. So here on our local machine, when Morales listens to a live blockchain event, we can see the stream coming in here in our terminal. In a production version, you could use your Firebase Cloud functions, your own server hosted on AWS, whatever you'd like to receive your webhooks and go about your functionality. You could even create functionality to send Discord messages, emails, purchase calls of cryptocurrencies, whatever you'd like. In our case, we'll just listen to the stream that Morales is sending us and print it in our terminal. And before we go ahead and kickstart this server, let's make sure that we actually, in this webhook endpoint, return a response status of 200 if it is successful. So over here, just return response 200. So if there's an error, we just respond with a 400 message say, stating that there's an error. But otherwise, Morales knows that the webhook was received successfully and it works perfectly low. So let's go ahead and save that. And now open up your terminal, go ahead and run npm run start as I have Nodemon installed. It's currently listening to streams on my local machine over here. So I think now we can close down this terminal, open up another terminal over here. And using ngrok, we can create a tunnel to our port 3000, where our server is running so that Morales can actually send these streams through the internet to our local machine. So let's start that. And we get this address over here, which is our webhook URL, our local host 3000. We have just have to append it with the webhook endpoint where we accept post requests from Morales. So now let's open up a new window a Visual Studio Code where we'll create our stream. All right, so here we have another Node.js file open. And what we've done is we've imported Morales and common EVM utils from Morales over to this project and a environment variable file, which consists of our Morales API key. So we can start up Morales like so this just initializes Morales functionality. So we know which account is using the Morales streams. And if you don't know how to get a Morales API key, it's very simple. Just go to your Morales admin dashboard web three APIs over here, and you can get copy your API key, make sure you paste it in a variable called Morales underscore key in your environment variables. So you initialize Morales seamlessly and you can use all the Morales functionality of the SDK in your Node.js apps. So to start off a stream, we have to first initialize a few options. So let's create an object called options, which will be equal to a few different keys. First of all, we can define the chains we want to be listening to events for. And this will be an array. As you saw in the admin UI, you can define multiple arrays and using EVM utils, we can define the Polygon Mumbai testnet so we're again listening to our account one on the Polygon Mumbai testnet. We'll apply the address later. Now, after the chains, we'll have to give it a description as so. And we can say, for example, listen to transfers. Then after that, we give it a tag. Lowercase transfers could suffice for here. Whatever descriptions and tags you use, just make sure you can keep track of them yourself. Then last time, we made sure to use include contract logs to be set to true, as you saw in the admin UI, as we wanted to listen to any ERC 20 transfers. In this case, we might not want to listen to ERC 20 transfers, but only the native currency of Matic being transferred. So let's try that. Let's set this to false, like so, and then include native transactions, like so, add this to be true. So now we'll be listening to all the native currency, which is Polygon testnet Matic being transferred for our account. Then finally, let's add the webhook URL that we just fired up here on our another terminal over here, we have this URL ngrok running our local host 3000 on the internet, let's paste that over in here, and make sure to append it with the webhook endpoint, which accepts post requests from Morales. Now that's all for our options. Now what we'll have to do as you notice, this is an asynchronous function called streams, we can create a new variable new stream and make that equal to await Morales using the streams method to add a new stream. And what we're going to add is the options that we just created over here. So this will create a new Morales stream for us with these specified options. As you'll notice, we don't define the address we want to track. 
So we'll do that after this step. So after we've created the new stream, we can destructure the ID of the stream we created, which will be from the new stream to JSON, like so we'll get the stream ID. And finally, what we can do is provide an address we want to listen to. So const address will be equal to our account one again. So jumping into Google Chrome, let's check out our MetaMask account one, copy the address from over here, jump back into Visual Studio Code and paste it in here. And now we'll just again, use the Morales SDK to add the address await Morales streams, and then add our address like so. All we have to do is provide a object where we pass in the address that we set and the ID we structured from the new stream we just created. And that is how simple it is to create a morale stream ready for production and to receive your webhook URLs in your own server that you've hosted and selected. Now we can also finally write a console log over here, console.log that everything's done, console log bin, for example, like so. And now as we run this index.js file, we should get a new Morales stream. And it can be also viewed in your Morales admin dashboard. So let's go ahead and try it out. Open up your terminal like so and run node index.js. We should get the fin over here. So our stream was created and we can check this as our server that's receiving the webhooks should have received an initialization empty webhook. So opening up our server, over here and you already see we have this empty webhook that has arrived over in here we have all these keys and it's empty no erc20 approvals erc20 transfers or native transactions but now we can test this out because we set it to listen to our own address sending native transactions on the polygon mumbai testnet let's go ahead and make a native transfer let's jump into split screen mode like so. So here we have our server that's listening to the morale streams. And here we have just the browser with my MetaMask. And let's go ahead and send some of the some of this native Matic currency. So go ahead and just press send transfer between my accounts. Again, let's send it to 0x5DAD my account two from 0x4D2 account one. And we can go ahead and send for example, 12 Matic, let's press next and go ahead and scroll down confirm this transaction. And this is now sending as this is sent, we should get a live webhook. Look at that the processing is even faster than with MetaMask. Let's go over here and scroll up in the transactions array, we get one object for the transfer we just made. Here's the transaction hash. If you wanted to check it in the Explorer, the value is the 12 Matic we just sent. The two address is my account due to 0x5DAD firm address 0x4D2. So everything is working seamlessly. And just for you to know, here, if we scroll up, we see that the confirmed status is false. So this is just to make sure that this transaction stays on the blockchain. If there was a split in the blockchain, and we don't know if our block will be remain on the blockchain, Morales makes sure that the couple of blocks will be added to our block, and it will send you another webhook with a confirmed true when it is for certain that the contents of this block where we our transfer of Matic was added will stay on the blockchain. And just for your cost cautious minds, the confirmed false webhooks do not cost any units from your Morales quotas, only the confirmed true webhooks will be added to your quota. So that is how simple it is to create a Morales stream using the SDK, and it can send any blockchain events to your selected server. Here we created our own backend server, but you could use a hosted one on AWS, a cloud function on Firebase, or whatever you think, just for you to have a reference of the code. Once more, here it is, we just made sure we initialized Morales, we created a function where we provided some options, we selected a change, gave a description, a tag, we didn't want to include contract logs, because we wanted to only look at native transactions. So we said include native transactions to true, we provided our webhook URL, and we created this stream with the SDK and added our address. And you could add even more addresses if you wanted to, or change chains, whatever you like. That's just a quick introduction of how to create your first Morales stream. I hope this is useful to you. And you start creating great streams. I'll catch you in the next one.